Hello and welcome to the last part of the Xiaomi slash Loxone tutorial where I'm going to show you how to use Xiaomi devices here in Loxone config and also how you can send the commands to the Xiaomi smart home gateway. So let's start. First of all you will need to define virtual input and output. To do that go to the, your mini server, select virtual inputs and click on virtual UDP input. You have to name it, in my case it's going to be Xiaomi VMOS. You have to define the IP address of your VMOS device, it can be either the broadcast or really the IP address of your device. I'm going to set it as IP address of my VMOS device, so it's like this. I need to set also the port. The default one in the example Arduino project is like this. So this is the virtual input. Now it's time to do the same for virtual output. To do that, go to the virtual output, click on virtual output, again set the name, and this time the address is a little bit more complicated. It has to be like this, slash dev slash UDP slash IP address of your Wemos device slash port. If you have changed the port number in your Arduino project, please also make sure to enter the correct port number here. So, we have virtual input and output ready. Now it's time to start listen for UDP packets and learn the inputs. To do that, go to the virtual input, click on UDP monitor, and you can now see all the packets that are coming to your Loxon. I'm holding in my hand the switch and I'm trying to trigger some action, so I'm going to click it. You can see that there is new call status click. I'm going to double click it, double click. I'm going to press it for a long time, so it's long click press. I'm going to release it, it's long click release. So you can see that the packets are coming from Wemos to the Loxon. Now it's time to learn the commands. To do that, switch to the Learn tab and select select one of the commands, so I'm going to learn, for example, this click command. I'm going to name it Xiaomi switch one click. I'm going to click create digital sensor. So now I have this click action. I can drag it to any page I want and I can link it to already existing actions in my Loxon plan. I can do the same for the other actions. I can find, for example, the double click. I'm going to I'm going to select it and I'm going to name it double click. So it's another digital sensor. And try to use different device. I suppose you saw that video with the Xiaomi Cube. I really like this device, and you can do various tasks with it. I'm going to switch again to the monitor tab. And I'm going to double tap the cube. You can see that there is a tap twice action. I'm going to rotate it. So it's the anti-clockwise. Now it's rotated clockwise. I'm going to throw it in my hand. I have free fall one more time. And I'm going to shake it. So I have shake air. So in the same way like you learn the click command, you can do the same things also with the cube. What else I got here? I got here the magnet. So I'm holding in my head magnet, I'm going to open it, close it, open, close, open, close. Another thing that we can try is for example the water liquid sensor. I will just use piece of wire and will join the two pins at the bottom of the device. You can see that there is a status leak. So these were all the digital sensor actions. Now let's try some more complicated examples and these are the analog sensors. I'm going to trigger my temperature and humidity sensor to send the data. You can see that they appeared in the list. Let's learn these values. Switch again to the Learn tab. You can clear it. 
I'm going to send the data again. You can see that there is the temperature, humidity and voltage value. I'm going to create analog sensor for each of these. So this one is for temperature, this one is for humidity, and this one is for voltage. You can see that the data are not floats, but are just simple integers, so we will need to change those. First of all, I have to change this command recognition. You can see here that we need to enter the value. Value is the last part of the packet, so I'm going to write here backslash v. So when the logson will be reading the packet, it will know that the last part of this packet is the value. It's also needed to change the values for humidity. You will need to change the display value number 2, like this. In fact, this setup means that it, the logson takes the value and divides it by 100, and this will be the correct value. You can also define here the unit for humidity, which might be percents, and you can use also two decimals to display the value correctly. Let's do the same for temperature. So, again, define the command, backslash v, display value 2 will be 1, and the value will be for two decimals, and I'm going to write degrees Celsius here. So, this is the temperature. Same thing for voltage. Define the command. This time we will also need to change the input value 2. This will be 1000. And the display value 2 will be 1. And you can also define the unit here. This time it can be for three decimals, and the unit are the volts. You can create a new page here. I'm going to name it Xiaomi Sensors. And I'm going to drag the humidity, temperature, and voltage to this page. Now it's needed to send the updated configuration to your mini server. So save it to the mini server and wait once done start live view and you can see that the device has sent the data i can for example brief on the sensor so you will see that the values will immediately change That's really instant reaction. So, these were the analog sensors. And last things are the commands that you can send to the gateway. Currently, there are commands to play the ringtone and to switch on the gateway light. I will show you both. Go to virtual outputs and Xiaomi VMOS. Click virtual output command. Now you have to name the command. I will start with ringtone. And you need to define the command for on, and if you want, then also the command for off. The most important part of the command is the ID of your Xiaomi gateway that you want to use. To learn those, use the UDP input and watch for a command starting with the gateway. I already have my ID ready, so I will use it. So, command will be like this. Gateway, ID of your gateway, and then the command is play, start. First number stands for number of the ringtone. I can tell you that, for example, this number 10 is standard doorbell ring, but I can try also something else. We'll try, for example, number 5, which is some gunfire. The last number is the volume. It's the value from 0 to 100, so I'm going to set it, for example, to 50, which is 50%. And if I want to also be able 
to uh, stop this. So I also set the command for stop and this will be same command but instead of start there will be stop. Let's try those. I will drag simple switch to my page. I will drag the play ringtone action to the page. Link it to the switch. I can also use the switch that we used in the first example. So I'm going to select the virtual input in the Xiaomi VMOS. And this is the double click, for example. So, with this configuration, my gateway will now play the sound when I click, when I double click the switch. Let's load the configuration to Loxon. Start live view again. And let's try to double click the switch. and double click it for the second time and the sound is stop. I know you probably don't like this sound so let's change it to the doorbell like I said before. So I change this number 5 to number 10 and load it again to the mini server. And we are ready. Let's try it one more time. Double click. Double click for the second time and it stopped. So, like this you are able to play the sounds using your gateway. And the last thing is the gateway light. You can use various commands to switch on the light. I will show you a few. This is just a quick example how to work with the lights. Wemos accepts various formats of the packets to control the lights. Easiest one is this one, which simply turns off the light. Then there are these four commands. They each take four parameters. First one is the brightness. Then the second one is R, like a red value. Then there is the third one, which is the G, like a green. And the last one is blue. Brightness values are from 0 to 100. R, B and G values are from 0 to 255. This first command simply turn on the light on the gateway it will be full brightness and it will be white light. Second one will be 80% brightness and it will be red. Third one will be 60% brightness and it will be green. And the last one will be 40% brightness and it will be blue. So these are first commands how to control the lights. Second option is to send one number and the number is calculated like this. You take the brightness, R value, G value and the B value. These four packets are exactly the same like these four. These are really useful if you want to control the RGB value and the brightness directly from Loxon, as Loxon allows to only pass one parameter to the virtual UDP output. I have prepared an example configuration how you can control the RGB light directly from Loxon. I'm using the switch that we learned earlier. Then there is the RGB lightning controller. This is standard Loxon component. It's using RGB outputs, which are values from 0 to 10. I also created a virtual input for brightness. I defined that it can take the values from 0 to 100. And these values are sent to formula. This is the formula that is needed to be applied. I will paste it to the video description so you can use it. And the last thing is the gateway command to control the light. You can see that there is that gateway light command and it's taking V parameter. Make sure to uncheck uses digital output. I will start now live view. I'm going to click the switch. You can see that the values has changed. So now the gateway is red. Now it's green. Now it's blue. Now it's completely white, so 
R, G and B are to maximum. One more click and it's off. So that's it. I hope you liked my videos. In the future I would like to extend this project and add more devices. So let's stay tuned on. Bye.